Hey weirdos. Okay, so it is Thursday, I think. Yes. Uh, I'm on my way to the doctor right now. Uh, I haven't been to the doctor since I think October. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, I'm going to the doctor because I have lupus and celiac disease. If you guys want to know what that is, um, I'll link a video below about me talking about it. But I have not get, been to the doctor in forever and I don't think my medication is working anymore. I feel like I did prior to um, getting medication and I feel like a lot of you guys have noticed there's been like like a lot of the, every single video has like a comment saying like oh like Alyssa doesn't look okay or Alyssa looks like really exhausted or Alyssa looks like this and it's true I am all those things so I'm going to take you guys along with me and we're gonna go get some answers um like fatigue 24 7 mm -hmm. body aches um no butterfly rash thankfully mm -hmm. But with the celiac, um, same thing, fatigue, all that stuff. But I had already given up dairy and gluten um, mm -hmm. a year and a half prior to that because I thought that something was probably wrong with my diet. Mm -hmm. And then the last time I went to the doctor was, I want to say, sometime in October. But I think I had lab work done right before my birthday, so like September 10th-ish. And they said that my levels were fine, but... Now, I don't think the medication is working anymore. Well, I'm on Plaquenil right now. Mm -hmm. Like the lowest, I want to say like 200. Mm -hmm. Plaquenil? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you said you feel like the medicine's not working? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I kind of feel like I did prior to ever being on medication. Like, mm -hmm. the fatigue is always there. But I was having like weird stuff going on with my body over the past couple months. Like. I like wake up in the middle of the night drenched in sweat mm -hmm. and I but I'm not like I'm hot but I'm also like cold at the same time like I'm mm -hmm. talking like soaked mm -hmm. and like stomach problems all the time um, I don't know if I'm also allergic to something else like food wise or just allergic to something because my diet is very clean mm -hmm. um, and yet I still feel like I have problems all the time with my stomach mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just like in constant fatigue, constant pain. Mm -hmm. I feel like my body's been in a flare for like two months. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so it is like way later. Um, I never vlogged after I left the doctor. Um, but basically I have to go see a specialist again, which I'm supposed to be doing like every two months. I'm supposed to get my levels checked every two months, but my insurance has been like messing up, so I haven't been able to go. So basically I have to go to a rheumatologist, get more medication. None of the medication is working. I don't feel any different. And I know that my levels are probably like way off and I probably have to get like on a steroid. And that's probably like why my breathing was weird because like inflammation like in my lungs and stuff. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like this. I mean, now that I have my insurance back and I have the right doctor, I'm going to be going to the doctor more often. And I don't mind, you know, kind of taking you guys with me just because this is like real life. This is like what happens. This is my life. But uh, yeah, it's all good. I got a prescription. But next step, get an appointment with a rheumatologist, which takes forever. So yeah, Sam's in the shower, and then we're just gonna watch some TV, get some vegan ice cream, and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Anyways, it's the next day. Our kitchen is a mess. People are going to say something, I know it. People are gonna be like, you're so messy. Yes, we're messy. Hmm. But we're making dinner. It looks so white in this lighting. We're making dinner, we're making curry. Just vegan. Mm -hmm. Coconut cashew. It looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. We've never had this one. Here's Sam. She wasn't in the video yesterday. Hi. I love how we're wearing like something very similar. I know. We're both wearing flannels with hoods. With hoods. They put your hood on. Oh. Ooh, sassy. <laughs> Sam has not had a good day. No, I haven't. So My she's in a little shit. She's in a mood, but. And not only that, they forgot something. They forgot to put something in the bag 
at Target. Yeah, we went to Target and so we're missing part of our dinner. Literally, like, how did I don't understand how she forgot it because I don't she, know. Like, she, she she like she, scanned it. We and paid for it. Put it by, yeah, it's on the receipt. Like it, we yeah. paid for. It. She bagged it and then we get home and we're like, where's the broccoli and cauliflower and stuff? So that's shitty. Yeah. But what are we doing tonight? We are gonna see a movie. Yes, we are. What are we gonna see? We're gonna see Patriots Day. Yeah, what is it about? It is about the Boston Marathon bombings. Yeah, it looks so good. Yeah, it's got Mark Wahlberg in it. Yeah, it just looks really good and like it kind of seems like one of those movies that you're probably, you're probably gonna cry. Probably. But I, I mean, was she's- also in Massachusetts. So. Yeah, she was not too far. Yeah, it's like an hour away. Yeah. And didn't, don't you have some sort of like connection? Don't you like know someone and like the... I know someone who was running in it. But don't you know some, like that little boy? Oh yeah, one of my, I was teaching at the time of like the shootings, not like when it was going on, but um, like my job was a teacher. And one of my fellow teachers, her friend's son was the little boy that was killed in the bombing. Yeah, so there was four people killed. There was an officer killed a couple mm -hmm. days later by the bomber. Then there was three um, civilians killed and one of them was like an eight-year-old boy, right? Yeah. And we we're think thinking Moose needs a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see her? Friend? <gasps> friend? Moose, you want a pug? <gasps> a pug! A baby pug! Thank you. But one crazy's enough, am I right? Here you go. Thank you. Ben Mankiewicz. So we got sour skittles. This timeless classic in select cinemas nationwide for two Ginger days only. January fifteenth. And there's a tiny bag of popcorn. Tickets That's on so sale. Cute. We'll give you guys a full review of the movie and treat when it's over. Star Are you excited? Okay, we're back from the movies, and let me tell you, that movie is a roller coaster of emotions. I, we think that you guys should go see it. It was amazing. It yeah. was like sad and it had like funny moments, I think, to lighten it up because of how serious it is. Mm -hmm. And because that's just, I mean, that's who Boston is. That's, that's Boston. You mm -hmm. know, Boston is funny and kind of wacky and, you know, it... Protect, definitely yeah and they protective. like protect their city and like it was amazing and and we're not going to give much away not not that you don't know what happens but i mean like the stories and, and stuff like that but at the very yeah. end yeah. it's not the movie that the real people come out at the end and they they talk about like not just what happened in boston but like also what happened in paris what happened in orlando what happened in like newtown what happened in like all of the places like that have happened in like the past like five years i think mm -hmm. and it's just like it's just it was such a great movie we think that you guys should go see it i would definitely pay to go see it again yeah. and again but i may tell you it is mm -hmm. a roller coaster yeah it's crazy and it, it it felt it felt like we were we were watching it again like it was 2013 again like when the bomb went off the first one like i physically jumped like it scared the shit out of me mm -hmm. Because it felt so real, and like they had like real footage in there in the movie, which like definitely like made it. Yeah. <laughs> even no, more there powerful. was a lot. There was a lot of like real, like footage from store cams and from you know, cell phone videos and you know news. The you know when the news was covering it, and, you know all of that, and it's yeah. I mean, it was definitely crazy. I remember you know sitting at you know, uh, early dinner and watching it happen on TV and, you know, watching just the panic, you know, cause it's so close to home. I mean, that's, that's my home. That's yeah. It's, 
It's crazy to even think that it's been like as long as it has. Yeah, three years. Three, yeah, almost, almost, almost four. four. You know, we will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay, it's the next day. We are at the, the California Academy Science of Science. I don't know. There's a T Rex. Museum. The science museum. The science museum. Huh. Sam, Sam experienced a, like a oh, real like California earthquake. She said she experienced one before, but I mean there really hasn't been a really big one since like I was like seven, six or seven. But we went through the earthquake simulator. It was great. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't she bad. liked it. But we are going to end the vlog here. It's pretty long. It's been like three days. Which is like pretty long for us because we don't usually do it that long. But we are going to end it here. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. We're not going to end it with vegan burgers. No, because we already had that. We hope that you guys had a good weekend. And hope that you guys have a good week. You run, mister. You run. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media because if you follow us on Snapchat or Instagram, then you've already seen pictures and you've already seen videos of stuff that we've been doing this week. So don't forget to follow us. Links below. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up if you like our vlogs. And subscribe because we put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. And we are trying to hit one million. We're trying to get that gold play button. Holla. Anyways, we love you guys. <laughs> but don't make it weird. Always make it weird.